In Britain, at least 50% of us are not getting enough exercise. The increased use of cars and public transport, combined with the decrease in active hobbies or recreational sports, can affect our weight. Childhood obesity is on the rise, which in turn carries a risk of potential health problems for the future. Throughout this series, we will be exploring key components of health and fitness by speaking to leading experts with regard to diet, exercise and simple lifestyle changes. Rosemary Conley recently celebrated her 40th anniversary at the end of last year, having launched her diet and fitness business in 1971. Rosemary shares with us her wealth of knowledge and expertise. Diet and fitness are absolutely made to be together. It's like peaches and cream, though obviously pardon the pun on the cream front, um, but they are absolutely working together to help you to lose weight and to get you fitter at the same time. If we could have fitness or exercise in a tablet form and the benefits that it gave us, we would be prescribed it by our doctors all across the land because the benefits of exercise are huge. Yes, you burn extra calories and yes, your joints will be better and you're going to likely be more slim and you're going to your heart and lungs are better as well. But there's other things. You've got things like cancers that can be prevented, diabetes that can be prevented, type two that is, um, and lots of other conditions that if you have a healthy diet, and you take exercise, you can transform your health. It's incredible. And we should all be doing it. It really is so obvious. And yet we somehow need to get the motivation because it takes effort. It takes a decision, it takes willpower, no question about that. But the two absolutely go together. And if what you could go on a diet, not exercise, that's fine. The progress will be so slow that you'll get fed up. You can try exercising and not dieting to lose weight. You'd have to do so much exercise for it to have a real effect on you. You'd get bored. Do the two together, you lose weight twice as fast. It's a no-brainer. Just do it. Embarking on a strict exercise regime can fill some people with dread. Boredom and repetition can reduce motivation. Curves International offers women a solution. We recently met with Tasmia Ali to find out more. Curves International was founded by Gary and Diane Haven in 1992 in Texas. Um, Gary developed a workout which is specific for women and it's an express 30 minute workout that is a combination of strength training and cardiovascular exercise. It's based around easy to use hydraulic resistance and easy for women to use in that way. Now Gary saw the success of women getting fitter and he looked at it and he thought there's a piece in the puzzle that's missing which would be nutrition diet and that's how the Curves Weight Management Program came into play. Curves is a franchise organisation rapidly spread throughout the world and in UK alone 200 plus with many millions in fact of very happy and excited members. At Curves we have an unofficial slogan which is no men, no mirrors, no makeup. And this is to focus on women's health and fitness and for women to be able to work out in a safe and relaxed environment. It's a highly researched and highly driven workout towards women and their needs. We work towards permanent results and we work towards increasing women's met metabolic rate and give them permanent results rather than a quick fix. And the Curves workout is only 30 minutes. We recommend three times a week which in essence is the same as going to the shopping centre. Our members who come to Curves very much enjoy the social aspect of what we do. They laugh together, they have a brilliant workout together, they get to compare their results. Um, some members come in at certain times and they develop a little group of friends that even go out for coffees together and have a really good time. So the social aspect as it's important for women, we incorporate that into Curves and make sure that the workout is fun and safe, but not only just a chore. The Curves Weight Management Programme is developed, again, specifically for women with a focus on not starving yourself but actually eating enough food as long as you're making sure to eat the right foods. It's all about everything in moderation, um, not excluding anything, having everything you need such as your starches, your proteins, your fats even, however, in moderation and in certain amounts. It works really well with the workout, the workout being based on strength training and cardiovascular exercise. So it all links in and it makes a nice combination.
Finding time to exercise at home may be an alternative solution for those that lead a busy life. Concept 2's rowing machines offer an all-body workout that you can do in the comfort of your own home at a time that suits you. Terry O'Neill, former Olympic rowing coach, and Tom Kay, world champion rower, tell us more. My name's Terry O'Neill. Um, currently, I work for Concept2. Prior to that, I was a professional coach and uh, worked with the British Olympic team. Prior to that, I used to row myself. Concept2 are a company that produces uh, fitness equipment um, using air as the resistance. We produce uh, the Rye Machine, which is our most famous product, but in addition to this we produce uh, the uh, Ski Erg. The advantage of air resistance over other forms of, of resistance that you come across in the gym is that um, it's actually you that's creating the resistance. So when you're rowing on the rowing machine, you spin the flywheel, the air resistance rises. The harder you pull, the more resistance there is. If you're not so strong, then there's less resistance there to work against. So it adapts itself to your needs, which is a real big advantage. So this is the Concept 2 indoor rowing machine. And I'll give you a quick walk through. Here we have the main business end where all the air resistance is created when you're doing your workout and the, uh, the gearing mechanism here. This is the monitor the computer that's going to tell you how fast you're going and how far you've been. And here we've got the handle and the sliding seat where you're going to do all your work. So the rowing action is really very simple. It's important not to overcomplicate it and I'll give you a very quick run through now. From this position, at the start of the stroke, the first thing you need to do is push with the legs, then use your back, and lastly, finish off with the arms. Let the arms come out straight, past your knees, and all you need to do then is slide up and repeat. How hard could it be? And simply, the harder you work, the more calories you'll be burning. Now, of course, one of the really good things about the Concept2 indoor rowing machine is that when you've finished your session, it packs away nice and neatly. Very quickly, you can put it away nice and tidy. Maintaining a regular exercise routine can sometimes be difficult, it's all too easy to forget or find an excuse. JTX Fitness specialise in vibration plates, a revolutionary machine for an alternative workout. We spoke to Dan Meredith, who explains more. My name's Dan Meredith. I've been in the fitness industry on and off for about 12 years now. Uh, I've worked as a personal trainer, fitness consultant, speaker in the fitness industry, and I'm now working with JTX Fitness as a fitness consultant. JTX Fitness is a fitness brand. Uh, we predominantly sell vibration plates, oscillation plates, as well as other fitness equipment such as treadmills and cross trainers. Um, we're able to be very competitive on price, unlike some of our competitors. Due to the fact we don't pass on anything to middlemen or to other shops, we sell directly to the consumer. In a nutshell, vibration plates are a simple way of increasing the intensity and the workload of your training that you do um, and exercise by vibration. So the human body accepts vibrations at between sort of 30 and 50 hertz so it basically allows your muscles to contract that many times a second whilst you're stood on the plate so if you're doing a press-up position or a squat position for example it makes that contraction happen 50 times a second as opposed to just once when you do the actual exercise the technology um, originally came from the space program in the soviet union i believe it was designed by a scientist in russia to help their cosmonauts lose less muscle mass and bone density when they're in space and they found that it actually worked as they planned and the Russian cosmonauts were able to stay in space much longer than the American ones so it's adapted from 
space age technology, for want of a better word. It's obviously very easy to have in a small area of space and you can get pretty much every bit of exercise done. Um, the main things are, it obviously improves the intensity of the workout, so you can get more done in less time, which is one of the key factors of it. You can do sort of short 15 to 30 minute sessions as opposed to hour, hour and a half sessions. Um, it increases bone density, improves circulation, it helps to reduce body fat. There's been quite a few studies that have shown that it can reduce abdominal fat in trained uh, people and in untrained people. And it's also good for rehab and injuries and massage as well. I find that here, I'm nice and straight, head neutral. If you do struggle, you can go on to your it can be as difficult as you make it so the machines are set so that you can have different frequency so you can make it from basically easy to hard uh, different intensities of the amplitude that it actually vibrates at so you can change it depending on your goal so it can be relatively easy if you're a newcomer um, you can make it very hard if you're an athletic person so it's really down to the individual I mean there are gyms around the country that do have them in various studios but the main benefit of a vibration plate is the fact that you can have it in your own home. So a lot of people, you know, a lot of my clients when I was a personal trainer didn't like necessarily being in a gym environment with other people around. You can have one of these in your home, put it in the corner near a plug. It's as simple as that. So you've got no real excuse not to train, which is the only downside I'd say. Breathe out, so fine, you tell me to go so breathe out and crunch. Excellent. And one more please. Good stuff. As a personal trainer, um, when they first came out, I was a little sceptical of them. Um, however, the large body of research that there is out there showing that they do work, I started to integrate them into my clients' routines and did see beneficial results. But it's like anything. If you rely on one modality for too long, your body will adapt. So I advise people to mixing using vibration training, resistance training, cardiovascular training, as well as a good diet, healthy nutrition, so on and so forth to get the best results. One, sadly, there's no one thing that will give you the miracle body. It's a combination of effects, but the vibration technology can go a long way to helping you get to where you need to be. After the break, we'll be hearing more top tips from our experts. You know what you need to do to get fit. You know you should start exercising. But you know, maybe not today. Unless, of course, you come to Curves, where we'll help you start right now in comfortable surroundings at times that suit you. All it takes is 30 minutes three times a week to put you on the road to fitness. So stop putting it off. Join now and get 50% off the service fee plus your first 30 days free. Curves, where you'll find the power to amaze yourself. The Concept 2 Indoor Rower is quite simply the best all-round item of fitness equipment available. Based on air resistance, Indoor rowing on the Concept 2 is suitable for people of all ages and levels of fitness. It exercises all the major muscle groups, is weight supporting and non-jarring, and most important, gives immediate and accurate feedback on your fitness progress. For further information, please call us or visit our website. Struggling to find time to exercise? With JTX Fitness Vibration Plates, you can achieve a one-hour workout in 10 minutes in your own home. Your body will stabilize in response to the vibrations, toning muscles in those difficult areas, legs, bum, and tum. We only sell online, so can guarantee great value you won't find on the high street. JTX Fitness, a slimmer, stronger you, starts here. You know what you need to do to get fit. You know you should start exercising. But you know, maybe not today. Unless, of course, you come to Curves, where we'll help you start right now in comfortable surroundings at times that suit you. All it takes is 30 minutes three times a week to put you on the road to fitness. So stop putting it off. Join now and get 50% off the service fee plus your first 30 days free. Curves, where you'll find the power to amaze yourself. Nowadays, fewer than 1 in 13 journeys are made on foot, and the distances we cover are reducing. A typical adult will now walk, on average, less than 200 miles a year, compared to 1975, when the average was 260. It is vital that we rediscover our active past. Rosemary Connolly explains more. 
If you're going to go out for a meal, and people do go out for a meal uh, and to dine out, because dining is a very social activity, it's the sort of thing you do on a special anniversary, even if you don't do it normally, uh, or a birthday, and it's a celebration. And we should embrace that. And if you're somebody who's trying to lose weight and you're being really strict on it, then it's the sort of thing to save up a few calories for it and to also do a bit more exercise running up to it and afterwards. What I would suggest to people when they go out for those sort of occasions is to really enjoy it. Have a night off. It's fine. You know, if it means this week you only lose one pound instead of three, it doesn't matter. Um, you're actually not going to put two pounds on because of one meal. That can't happen. Um, just don't get on the scales the next day because that's when, when you eat a lot of food that you're not used to and often it's quite salty. You accumulate much more fluid onto your body, within your body, to store that food. So you get on the scale, oh, I've put on five pounds, I can't believe that I've done that. And the actual fact, two days later, it would have gone. So don't worry about it, don't get on the scale. Same happens when you come back from holiday. Um, but the key is really, be a little bit moderate in certain things. Don't eat the bread roll when you're waiting. Watch how much alcohol you drink. The more alcohol you drink, the less willpower you're going to have. Uh, so you just think, oh, stuff it, I'll, you know, I won't rather worry about the diet and I'll get back on it tomorrow. Um, and also just choose relatively carefully. Curve Smart is a fantastic and unique personal coaching system which is individual for every member. Every member gets set up in every machine based on their level of fitness. As they go around the circuit, their range, their strength is monitored and taken into account. At the end of the workout, they get a very personal report and they find out how much they have used their muscle strength, how many calories they've burned, what they could do better to increase their workout results. So all in all, it's a very personal, technical system to make sure your workout is maximized and used to the fullest potential. Our members make our clubs happen. When a member walks through the door, our staff knows exactly who they are, they know them by their first name and know what their background is. We love our members and the staff are actually happy to see their members walk through the door. Women who have the extra self-esteem will take the time out necessary to look after themselves. And this all links in with feeling good and looking good. If you have the extra self-esteem, you will take the 10 minutes it takes to get yourself a good breakfast. You will take that half an hour extra in the morning to go and do a run or meet up with your friends and come to Curves. A lot of people will pay a fortune for either diet advice or fitness, but never a combination of the two. At Curves, we make sure there is diet advice, weight management advice, and also fitness. Our circuit coaches are fantastic in the circuit, helping members working out, as well as they are excellent weight management guides. A healthy diet often works around actually eating more. However, making sure to eat the right things in the right quantities. Making sure that you get enough starch, making sure you get enough bread and rice, whole grain preferably, obviously. Protein is important in our diets as well, such as fish, eggs, meat. Have everything in the right amount and right quantities, and it's very good. The things we want to avoid are things like sugar, fat, salt. However, everything in moderation works well. A snack and a mealtime planner can really help you keep a good overview of what you're having during the day and make sure that your snacks and your meals are full of nutrition and the right type of nutrition. Rowing in itself is quite a simple sport. It's simplified even more when you get onto a rowing machine because you don't have to cope with controlling the boat and the oars. So you're left purely and simply with the physical demands of the sport so therefore, it's, it's a very, very efficient way to improve your physical condition. Even the first time, if you've never been on a rowing machine before, uh, you can get on and just start. If you want to improve what you're doing um, and get more fulfilment from it, there's lots of very easy advice out there. But in five or ten minutes, you can pick up the basics and just get going. Um, and then... Um, build on it from there. The way that the, the rowing machine benefits uh, your lifestyle is it's a very efficient way to involve most of your major muscle groups. The more muscles that you've got involved in an activity, the greater the demand for oxygen, which places 
uh, greater demand on the heart and lung functions. So therefore, um, it, it's a very, very efficient way to use your time. If you're going to start any form of exercise regime, there are a couple of things that you need to consider. First of all, don't go too mad. Uh, you need to start an a, appropriate level for your current condition. If you have any doubts about your, your, your state of health, you should seek medical advice, especially if you're on any form of medication. If you're about to start exercising from a position of, of not having done very much at all before, I think probably start very slowly and build gently into it. Um, it's important to um, be happy with your medical position. So if you do think that you might have some underlying um, conditions, you know, go and see a doctor or get some medical advice. But start slow, don't put too much pressure on yourself and don't expect miracles either. I think you know, people have to remember that just little and often will eventually get there, whereas going at a bull at a gate will probably end up you know, being disappointed and, uh, and stopping sooner. A lot of the big issues that I've come across in my fitness experience is that people are either really happy to do a diet, they'll spend ages planning it and following it and sticking it to the letter, or they will train five, six times a week, but they won't often put the two together. Um, so trying to get someone to improve their eating and exercise at the same time is probably the hardest thing is getting those two together because they work best when they're done together. You know, you, you will lose weight on a diet, you will lose weight just training. However, you put the two together, they work far, far more effectively, I found over the years. I found that if you just try and change one thing a month, so for example, like adding in breakfast or putting in an extra session at the gym, is far more easy to stick to than suddenly changing lifestyle, eating habits, training habits, sleeping habits, all in one go. It's all very well having those good intentions, but actually sticking to them, most people do fall by the wayside after a few weeks. So the best tip I've said is make a list of goals, plan it over six months, and try and just change one of those goals each month. So as you slowly integrate it into your life, it's less of a shock to the system, and before you know it, those habits have been formed, and you stick with them. Okay, five top tips I would advise anyone to integrate into their training. Sounds like an unusual one, but it's one that most people miss. Try and get breakfast every day. There's been loads of studies um, saying that those people who have breakfast every day are generally leaner, healthier, and have less fat on them. So it's a really simple tip. Put five minutes aside for yourself in the morning. No matter how you do it, get out of bed five minutes earlier if you have to. Get it ready the night before. Have some breakfast. That's one of the sort of first top tips I'll always get people doing when they're starting any sort of training plan. Secondly, a really good thing you can do is switch out sort of fizzy drinks and high caffeinated beverages for water, fruit teas, so on and so forth, and have snacks available to hand. So when you get that energy lull and you do feel that having things like fresh fruit, nuts on hand, I always tell my clients if possible to have a little box of fruits and nuts that they like in their desk at work, in their car. If you're feeling like you're gonna be hungry, you're gonna grab a chocolate bar, grab a handful of that, have yourself a glass of water and you'll be amazed 20 minutes later you feel full. That's a really simple way of kind of avoiding some of the badder snacks. We've had thousands of very satisfied members who have achieved amazing results and found themselves again in many instances. We like to celebrate that as much as possible. We actually have a competition every year which is Covet of the Year. The winner gets a luxury holiday, luxury spa deals, anything that we can help them celebrate themselves with. We like to invite everybody to come to Curves, doesn't matter what age group, our youngest members are from 16 to 90 years old. It all works around their needs and their level of fitness. Everybody knows uh, at the moment there is a problem with people uh, and obesity and, and putting on weight. The basic problem is that we as humans do can't evolve at the rate of change in society. So in my life, right, I was born during the war. Ten, first 10 years of my life, food was on ration. There wasn't enough thing, uh, food for people to eat. Today, there's an abundance of food. And this has coincided with uh, we've become less active. We drive everywhere, whereas I used to walk everywhere. And so there's... Uh, almost a lethal cocktail in an abundance of food, not the right type of food, and less activity. And we've got to redress this 
we've got to redress this balance by eating better and involving ourselves in more activity, more exercise. Try and seek out the advice of an exercise professional. There are a lot of good trainers out there. There are a lot of good gyms. There's a lot of good information on the internet. So, you know, do your research, find someone who can help you uh, or find a company that can assist you with your goals and speak to them. They love talking about fitness. They're often very passionate about it, very into it themselves. They've often trained an awful many years themselves. So, you know, seek someone out who knows what they're talking about and get them to put you on the right path. Another key area that I advise people to do is not just to stick to one thing. So combine resistance training and cardiovascular training. You find a lot of people who are really set in their ways and they like doing a certain type of exercise. You find a lot of big guys who only just want to do weights. A lot of ladies who, for example, want to do just classes in cardio. But mixing those two together, you'll be amazed at the benefit results. So don't be afraid to put in resistance training, vibration training, core work, posture work, cardiovascular classes. So having a nice mix will make you an all route better rounded, healthy person. And finally, the key thing I could say to people is just try and eat as healthy as possible. I know that sounds really patronizing. It sounds so easy just to say it when I'm sat here, but you know, consume lean proteins, good quality vegetables, lean pulses and rices, and you know, consume as much water as you feel comfortable throughout the day will go a long way to helping you have a happier, healthier, fitter life. Try and avoid processed food as much as possible. If it comes in a packet, if it's coloured funnily, if it's fizzy, generally as a rule it's not natural. So if you can limit the intake of those foods, I'm not saying don't have them, but just kind of slowly start to limit them in your diet and increase more of the healthy foods, you'll be amazed at the effects on your body. Join us next week for some more top tips that can help you in your quest to lose weight and keep it off.